Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. We have a crazy late night upload tonight because EA just put a pack in the store that literally changes this game and the market and the way that we think about it because it brings to life something that we've never seen before. They put a pack that was basically what we thought was a party bag pack that contained players from old promos that are out of packs. They put it in the store and it's supplying these trade these players tradable on the market. And the reason why this is crazy and why it's actually killing the market right now is because none of this was ever expected, right? We never expect promos to be released back into packs or promo cards. This is like some foot player days type stuff or like stuff that we see in like July or after team of the season when we're expecting it, right? But this is just them randomly dropping this winter roundup pack three hours after content on a Wednesday. On a Wednesday. It's crazy. I, I don't think anybody expected this. But this is really killing the market right now. And it just it opens up this whole new conversation of... Just the conversation that's even been brought to light even more this year with this market is never safe. You can never hold any card on this game and expect to be safe with it, especially now. We thought out of packs cards were always like safe, right? Because, you know, they're not getting more supply, but this changes everything for real. So I want to show you this pack because it actually has expired. They put 30,000 of them out and they sold out within like 15 minutes. But look at these pack odds. Look at these pack odds, right? Ones to watch player, 17%. Road to the knockout player, 13, 11, 4.1. Rule breakers, 22%. Adidas numbers up, 12%. Signature signings, 11%. A team of the tournament player, 3%. Winter wild cards, 2.1%. It's crazy that, the, you know, it's just the fact it's hard to wrap our minds around that these cards that were once in promos like a month or two months ago are now getting supplied and released again on this game. This pack was worth 110,000 coins and it's just literally causing so much chaos. And again, I just had to make a video about this tonight and show you what's happening on the market because it's been an already crazy day already. But like just trying to think about why is this pack in the store, number one, why is EA doing this, right? The market this year has been more volatile than ever. And this is just adding a whole nother layer to this market, which it really just seems like they don't want you to gain value on any card in your club or in your foot account at any time, because that's how they make money, right? If they devalue your cards, make you lose coins, then you have to maybe buy some FIFA points to get coins back. That's why this year you've seen preview packs do that with crazy market crashes. And now this as well. Now, once I leave the store, we're not going to be able to see this pack anymore. So Make sure you, you know, if you want to take a screenshot of this so you remember this day, because this is a historic day in FIFA history, for real. Out of pack special cards returning back into packs. We got to take a look at these cards, right? You saw there was like a 22% uh, probability of packing an out of pack special card from some of these old teams. Like, I'm going to take a look at Road to the Knockouts at the moment. It is, the crazy thing about this is you probably, some of you guys were just chilling, like, with some of these cards in your teams, you're like, okay, Fred, yeah, he's dropped off some in the previous few days, but like now you have fresh ones and pack supply coming to the market on some of these cards. Probably not a ton of Freds, right? Because he's got a low, pretty low pack weight, but I bought two Verissimos um, because he links to the brand new Tarapt from the uh, signings promo. Take a look at this dude. I'm losing 10,000 coins a card in this Verissimo right now because he was literally 40,000 coins. And of course, being one of the lowest rated players as a part of Road to the Knockouts, he got supplied a lot. Look at all the supply on this card, dude. He's down to 25K. Are you serious? That's actually crazy. That is actually quite crazy. He's like 20, 29,000 coins at the moment. This Verissimo card because you have brand new tradable supply entering the market. I think Rule Breakers had a pretty high pack weight as well. Let me take a look at Kessie, right? A lot of people were investing in Kessie Rule Breakers card because of these supposed cards that were coming out in this next promo team. Um, look at all these fresh first owner Kessies. That's That one's not fresh. That one's fresh first owner Kessie. Like this card has not been in packs since before Black Friday and a, a while before Black Friday. And now you have tradable ones entered on the market because people pack them. The, the, the crazy thing is as well, we don't know when EA is going to do this again. What What is this price for Klosterman that I'm seeing? Klosterman is 80,000 coins. It just it just reinforces that at any time. How much was Klosterman earlier today? Like, are they going to run this lightning round again? 
because Klaassen was like 100,000 coins, wasn't he? Yeah, he was like 90,000 coins. I'm just going to pick that up because I think that's pretty crazy that he's dropped off. Like literally just dropped off 15K because of that pack. Now, if they drop this pack again in the store soon, then then we're kind of screwed. But I just think this is wild, man. I, the whole It's not even just the market dropping from this that is crazy. It's the principle behind it that they can just drop a pack like this at any time and drop the market in in the blink of an eye, right? Some of some of the uh, I, I tweeted this out right away. I said EA Sports, ladies and gentlemen, releasing old promo cards back in packs through the store. Look at some of the replies that I got. Somebody packed an Inform Gabriel Jesus. Inform Gabriel Jesus is far gone from packs. This card's from like Team of the Week two or something like that. So how is he in packs right now, right? Then other people are tweeting me they're getting Road to the Knockouts Werner. That's a six hundred thousand coin card. Take a look at some of these items on the market again that have dropped. Werner, uh, 735. Wow. So he went low and then bounced back right away. Um, the Let's see. Some of these lower tier cards that are down. Uh, Melee is discard. Wow. That's crazy. Amavi, 18K. Telemans is 13,000 coins. So these cards had a pretty high pack weight. Ones to watch is I bet are getting supplied right now. Um, Hakimi. Upamecano. Let's actually... Are there like any messy, brand new, fresh, messy cards on the market? But this is actually wild, man. Again, it just opens up the whole conversation that EA manipulates this market more and more every single year, which is absolutely wild, which I don't see any fresh first owner messies here. That would have been a crazy, crazy um, pack to get. But it's wild, right? Because it's supply and cards that are in packs, that are out of that were out of packs that we never expected. And it kind of sucks, right? This this year in, the, in this market this year, it's, I would say, and I would say this with very, with a lot of confidence, it's never been harder to make coins um, on like your team, right? Because in pre previous years in FIFA, you would have been able to go out to buy cards off the market. And, you know, when a card was about to go out of packs, you buy one, you put it in your team. And then you're like, okay, I mean, this card's going to rise out of packs because it's popular, it's meta. And then you would see a nice little rise. But then with these cards, like here's a Di Maria fresh. These numbers up cards just got upgraded today. And now this Di Maria is down another 10,000 coins because of this. I bet some of the, where's Gio Reyna? Um, I bet Reyna's dropping a lot because he got an upgrade today. He was like 40,000 coins. Giovanni Reyna, what is he right now? Giovanni Reyna was in like 45,000 coin range. Yeah, but he's going to get, a, he's going to be a card that's going to get packed a lot. You, you see a couple first owner fresh ones here because uh, of that item being so low rated. So your lower tier cards from all those different promo teams were the ones that were impacted the most, 100%, without a doubt. That's what you saw. Now, the other question is, when are they going to release these again? Are they going to release these cards into packs? Um, are they going to release this lighting round another time? You know, now that that pack is in the code, and they release it on a random Wednesday that just leaves us with the fear, just like preview packs, right? It leaves us with the fear of when in the world is EA Sports going to drop a pack like that again? They literally have more and more ways at the tip of their fingertips to crash the market every single day. And that that's just, that's the whole scenario with these cards. I saw that these, I saw these packs come out and I had some Atals that were on my transfer list and I just sold them real fast and I made like two to three K a card per uh, on these, oh no, man, I have some Gravenberch too. So Gravenberch, I bought it like 46,000 coins. What is he? What is he? Yeah, but that, that's the thing, man. That, that's the whole point of this video. And just uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I just think it's wild. It's just absolutely wild. It's another way that EA Sports is able to, yeah, Gravenberch is down at 41,000 coins, right? Um, a couple of them are first owner fresh. Now, uh, uh, some of these as well, some of these as well, like, uh, could have bounced back a hot minute since the packs were released. And, of course, uh, we don't know when EA is going to release this again. Are they going to release it, like, in, in the next hour? Like, I think a lot of us thought that the pack, that pack was going to end up being one that was released kind of, like, um, during, let's say, like, like in an SBC. And, and now we see it actually dropping in the store, which is, which is wild. How many, like, fresh Alibas do we have? Because ones to watch... Had a very high pack percentage. Alaba is 53,000 coins. Look at all these fresh ones, man. If you had a once to watch Alaba in your team, you're losing how many coins right now? How much was Alaba before this? Alaba was 65K. No, nah, nah, not quite 60. He was 60,000 coins flat. So it's not, a, it's not a crazy drop. And I think you would see a lot bigger drop 
on these cards. And I want to preface it by saying this too. Yes, there are drops on the market right now with these cards. Um, and if they drop it again, of course, there could be some more drops. But it really wasn't a huge drop on most cards, except for some of those really low tier RTTKs. Um, because like that Verissimo, I should actually go and pick up one or two of these, to be honest. If they don't, if they just drop this pack as a one-time thing, then this Verissimo could, could definitely rise back up. But uh, the reason why you didn't see these like drop the whole entire market is because there was only 30,000 of them in the store. Like if we go back to this picture again, you can see it when I, you click on the picture that there were only 30,000 of them right here, right? 30,000 of these packs in total. And if this was something where they would have done like 100,000 or uh, 150,000 packs on a lightning round, which is not uncommon for a promo Friday, then this would have been this would have been ridiculous and it would have crashed the market so, so, so much. So, I mean, if you look on the popular page on Flippin, I bet a lot of people are looking up these cards that have dropped. Um, let's see some cards on here. Let's just click through some of these promo teams and see what else has gone down in the past little bit. Griezmann wants to watch. Uh, 56,000 coins. He was 70k. Yeah, he was 70k, and right now he's down to 56k. That's crazy, right? And that's just from that pack alone that was literally just put in the game. Uh, what else had a very high percentage? Road to the knockouts had a very high pack weight. Are any of these down? Sun 249. Grabbing burst that we saw was down. Oh, I bet Tonali is down. See, man, a lot of people had invested in Tonali, just like Kessie. A lot of people had invested in this card. He was he was 47,000 coins, so he's not down a ton. He's down a little bit. Uh, Danjuma is down for sure. This Traore is down a little bit. So it just, again, the price drops aren't that insane right now, right today. Trent, 110 for Trent? He was 130, man. Trent was literally 130. Did he just drop? Okay, he's been 115, so he's not down that much either. But uh, again, it's more, it's more so the principle that is scary today. It's the principle that EA could just drop these packs at any time. And uh, that would cause a lot of these cards to drop down in price. So that's the thing that's crazy about this. They've already figured out one way to do that this year with preview packs. And we haven't seen a preview pack in a long time. Uh, we've seen, we haven't seen a preview pack like a 50K, 100K preview pack. We have not seen anything like that um, in a hot minute. So, you know, that's a sort of thing where actually Hummels, 29,000 coins, he just got packed. How much are uh, 89s? Are 89s to like 28K, 29K? 89s are 29,000 coins. So Hummels just got supplied and now he is one of the cheapest by rating as an 89 rated. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. EA have more ways than ever to try to crash the market this year. And it absolutely is working. It absolutely is working and it's absolutely crazy. So I don't know what's going to happen with this pack in the future, but I wanted to make this video uh, because this is wild. And it's, it's more of just a thing where we're just we're surprised. And it feels like EA is just trying to get as much cash as they can. For, for whatever reason, they're not making enough money or they need to make more money. It just, it just feels like a cash grab. It feels like something that is very, I don't know, man. It just it just sucks. It, like Because these, pack, these, these cards that go out of packs, and as you can tell, I'm very flustered right now, boys. This is the most flustered you're going to see TFA on a video, I don't even know what to say. So basically in short, it really just feels like you're getting stabbed in the back by EA Sports because they are supplying cards that you thought and they're creating more variables in this market where you thought you didn't have to worry about it, right? And again, it just goes to show that they really, really, really want you to lose coins and that will in turn make you buy some FIFA points. That is the whole point of why they release a pack like this in the game and it's just crazy right we've seen it more and more this year where you know they're running lightning rounds all the freaking time man seriously this this is at like what 10 p.m uk on or 9 p.m uk on a wednesday right there's a new team of the week today it's not like a new day for a promo or anything like that and we have lightning rounds like we just before this pack was released in the store we had lightning rounds for three hours three hours straight of lightning rounds so it's, it's really just following along with how EA has wanted this market to work out all year. But it's it's really, especially when you have a time like this come where you feel like you've been backstabbed by EA because you thought, you know, hey, I'm trying to have fun in this game, right? It's really disappointing and really discouraging to a lot of people that are trying to have fun. And when they care about the value of their cards on the market in this game and EA releases a pack like this and they lose value, then, you know, 
that's gonna people are gonna lose interest. People have been losing interest in this game from a market standpoint since the start of the game, purely because of the preview packs and how high the pack weight is in general. And yeah, I, I think it really just continues with um, a lot of people seeing this today. And this is gonna bring a whole nother wave of you know people that are mad, that are upset, that are just um, not happy with the way that EA runs this market. And I think there's there's very, very valid reasons to be upset. There's very valid reasons to be upset and be not happy uh, because this is just this is just EA doing another thing. It really seems like to uh, create create some panic and create maybe you selling some cards from your team and 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 again to just lose coins. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I'm really trying to look through some cards right now that are being affected by this. Like Anthony was a hundred thousand coins. Uh, he's a pretty lower tier card from this. I don't know if this is causing people to panic sell right now. I, I don't believe that this pack being released would really cause a bunch of people to panic sell. But there's boom, there's a fresh first owner tradable Anthony on the market. There's another one, right? Um, yeah, again, I don't think this would cause a lot of people to panic sell. It's mostly the lower tier cards that were packed. But just the fact that now that, that since they released it, uh, we've seen a multiple new packs this week be released into the store. Um, ben Rama, look at all these fresh first owner Ben Ramas uh, that you can see here as people pack them from that SBC or from that from that pack that was in the store. So it's just crazy. It is just crazy to see this. Honestly, I never thought I would see the day. This is just something that we thought like, yeah, you see stuff that is re-released back into packs later on in the year. Kiesa was 170k and he was, I think he went down to like 150. Um, and maybe you have had a few people panic sell because of this. Kiesa, look at that, 163k fresh sitting right there. Somebody packed that and listed it up. So I don't know when this pack is going to get re-released. I don't know how often EA plan to do this. I hope it is like never, but once they do something one time, I mean, it's very possible that they could do it again. So just be very, very careful. And as always, we're going to have to continue to monitor the stuff like this when it happens. And, uh, of course, this is going to cause a big uproar on Twitter. Everybody's going to be talking about this. Um, and we'll see if we get any more of this, uh, specific pack. Um, into the store so it's just crazy man again i'm really i'm flustered ea sports i am flustered i cannot believe it i'm so surprised i don't think any of us expected this uh even today so if you're losing coins i apologize because this is it sucks right this is the thing that sucks when you get blindsided by something with this but we will learn from it and we will bounce back and we will find out how packs like this impact the market and we'll move forward from there. So there's going to be another upload later tonight, regular upload on the channel, talking about winter wild cards from team two, because the team one cards go out of packs. We got milestone rewards very soon. Uh, and there's a lot to talk about with there, but EA is just killing this market right now with this brand new pack. I really don't hope that we see it again anytime soon, because that just creates a whole nother fear wave uh, of people that trade and people that play this game is just the fact that you could have cards re-entering packs at any time being supplied without you knowing especially when you least think about it and then you're losing coins so that's the video for today boys let me know again down in the comments what you think if 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 it affected you or not because i know a lot of people might have not been affected by it because only some cards really went down in price but crazy absolutely crazy from ea sports that they did something like this unexpected unforeseen just wild man so it's been nathan foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace out